So as you read where I'm at today, excuse the pun, I'm at Reading. And today I'm looking at a railway line that was built by the Great Western Railway, their Barks and Hans Railway. But it was actually a line that was built to fend off the competition, the London and South Western Railway. And this railway line that I'm looking at is Reading to Basingstoke, calling all stations on route between Reading and Basingstoke. So before I leave Reading, I just want to talk about the history of Reading Station. It opened on the 30th of March 1840 by the Great Western Railway. Now between 1949 and 1974, it was actually named Reading General. But also in 1965, because it was merged with another station, that station was called Reading Southern, which was actually built next door to Reading General Station. Now I'll be leaving Reading on this train that you right behind me here, and that is the Tello 7 to Basingstoke. So we're going to board that train now and head to Reading West, our first location. So we have now reached the first station en route towards Basingstoke, this is Reading West. And Reading West is actually on a double junction. Up north of the railway station, you've got the Reading Triangle with the Great Western Main Line. And south of this station, you've got South Coat Junction, when the line towards Newbury and Basingstoke branch off from each other. But platform one here is actually so long that it has two exits here as well. I would not recommend filming between the two exits, as it's also a walkway with people as well, and you get in their way because the platforms here are so narrow. So I'm going to dive into the history of Reading West Station. Now the railway actually came through here in 1847 by the Great Western Railway when they built the Barks and Hans Railway towards Newbury and Basingstoke. The railway station wasn't here till the 1st of July 1906 when the Great Western Railway built Reading West Station. So I'm now waiting for the 1109 Great Western Railway service to take us to the next station. Now the next station is actually the newest station on the network, it's Reading Green Park. Now, I haven't been to this railway station yet so I am looking forward to seeing this new railway station. So we're going to hop on our train now and head to Reading Green Park. So when I was at the previous station, Reading Green Park, that station was just absolutely emphatic with trains passing through a few minutes apart of each other and also stopping there as well. But that was the last station to open in Reading in 1906. Until this station right behind me here opened in 2023, this is Reading Green Park station. And first impressions of this station, absolutely enjoying it. I really like it to be honest. It definitely has character, a lot of character. So there's not really much to say about the history of Reading Green Park Station. It opened on the Saturday, the 27th of May, 2023. Unfortunately, I couldn't come to the opening day as I was busy working that day, to be honest. Now, the railway did came through here in 1847 on the Barks and Hans Railway for the Great Western Railway, when they built their line from Reading to Basingstoke.
Now, to be honest, I did say earlier that this station had character, and honestly, being here for nearly an hour, this station is really likeable. I really do like this station. It definitely has character, to be honest. Now, I'm not going to do any station facilities because it has been done before, but we shall be leaving Reading Green Park Station on the 1214 Great Western Railway service to Basingstoke, and the next station I'm stopping at is Mortimer. So we have moved down to the next station on the route, Mortimer, and honestly, I said at Reading Green Park that Reading Green Park station has its own character. Well, Mortimer has its own character as well, and it's splendid, because the station buildings here are well-preserved Brunel-style Great Western Railway buildings, and honestly, they really look magnificent here. So I'm now going to dive into the history of Mortimer Station. It opened on the 1st of November 1848 and so did the line through here towards Basingstoke from Reading. Because I do actually have a small correction to make. Because the Barkers and Hans line, the Great Western Railways line, was actually built in two stages. The first stage was towards Hungerford which opened in 1847 from Reading. And the line towards Basingstoke wasn't open till 1848. Also at Mortimer, it does have a footbridge linking Platform 2 to Platform 1. I've only just realised this as well, that Platform 1 is not disabled access friendly. Platform 2 is, but not Platform 1. But we shall be leaving Mortimer on the 1320 Great Western Railway service to Bramley. Now this is not in Yorkshire, this is actually in Hampshire. So our next train now is going to take us to Bramley in Hampshire, not Yorkshire. We have now reached the penultimate station before we get to Basingstoke. This is Bramley, not in Yorkshire but in Hampshire. There's actually two Bramleys. And I wouldn't be surprised in the future if there's YouTube videos with people travelling from Bramley, Yorkshire to Bramley, Hampshire and vice versa. Bollesley though, it is also a very nice station. Even the station building is Great Western Railway but it actually dates more to the 1900s which I'll explain when I do the station history of Bramley in a second. Another thing to point out at Bramley Station is that it does have a level crossing at the north end of the station. And honestly, I do love seeing a level crossing. But we're now going to dive into the history of Bramley Hampshire Station and not Bramley Yorkshire Station. So the railway actually came through here in 1848 when the Great Western Railway built the Barks and Hans Railway from Reading to Basingstoke. However though, the station at Bramley didn't open until the 1st of May 1895. So before we leave Bramley, just want to share this quick story from 2021. I was travelling from London Waterloo to Exeter St David's on South Western Railway. And after Clapham Junction, the train was busy. And I was chatting to Paul Whitewick on Discord at the time. And he said that everybody gets off at Basingstoke. But the funny thing was, nobody got off at Basingstoke on that train. But unfortunately though, I do have to get off at Basingstoke because the next train, the 1426 Great Western Railway service, terminates at Basingstoke. So it's time now to head to Basingstoke. So 
we have now reached Basingstoke, and yes, Eggboy got off at Basingstoke because my train terminated at Basingstoke. But however though, this station I'm currently at is not the Great Western Railway Station when they arrived in 1848. This is actually the London South Western Railway Station which opened in 1839 as a temporary terminus until it became a through station in 1840 with services going towards Southampton. The Great Western Railway Station was actually built next door to the London South Western Railway Station when it opened in 1848. That closed in 1932 but Platform 5 at Basingstoke is part of the former Great Western Railway Station. So as I mentioned throughout the video, the Great Western Railway opened the Barks and Hans Railway in 1848 to fend off the London and South Western Railway. However though, in 1849 the South Eastern Railway ended up serving Reading, with a station right next door to the Great Western Railway station. And in 1856 the London and South Western Railway ended up serving Reading. And the way that the London and South Western Railway did it was they got authorisation to run the South Eastern Railway Line and use their terminus at Reading. He who lasts last, lasts loudest. But anyway, I'm going to be leaving Basingstoke to head to Bournemouth for the HST Farewell Charter, which is the next day. But that video is going to pop up right here. Feel free to give that a click. The people on screen now, YouTube channel members and patient supporters, thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Simon Trace. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you on board for the Cyber Express for the next video down the line.